Hi everyone! So this is another water marbling nail tutorial and it's how to achieve this look here. So it's basically gold and teal and I'm using two of the newer colours that I've bought and that's OPI Yodel Me On My Cell which is a nice dark deep teal and Glitzerland which is a golden colour. You'll also need a top coat of your choice some tape. I use painter's tape so it doesn't stick to my nails. Scissors to cut the tape. Um, some q-tips or cotton tips or whatever you want to call them. Uh, toothpicks just in case we get any little glooby bits. Paper towel and I find just a safety pin or a little pin just to actually draw through the effect. So let's get started. So first you want to cut the tape. So I've done all of my nails but one, so I'm only going to be taping up my thumb. And a strip about that long should be fine. Cut that just over halfway. Now the longer piece I'm going to wrap around my thumb. And the way that I do that is line it up with the base of my cuticle, just like so. And then wrap it around my thumb. Like that, so it's all the way around. Now with the shorter piece, I line it down the side of my thumb on one side of the nail, wrap it around and take that down the other side, just like that. So that way it wraps the nail completely and it stops the excess polish from getting on your skin. So now you can start with the border marbling once you're all taped up and ready to go. I've just based my nail, uh, put a base coat of the Glitzerland, that way the gold is more vibrant once it's water marbled. Now with the water that you use, it's best to use filtered room temperature water. I use bottled water as well, um, as long as it's room temperature, otherwise it won't work as well. Your polishes might set too quickly or they just won't spread. Um, it's also trial and error. Not all polishes are going to work well with water marbling, so and just see what you have. Now I'm going to start with the teal colour and drop that in. Then I'm going to do one of the gold. Then I'm going to do two drops of teal. And another of the gold, then another two drops of teal, then the gold, then two teal again, Then one more gold and then two more teal in the center. Now taking your safety pin you want to draw the pattern into the nail polish. It's best to find out where it's still wet so sometimes this outside layer is still dry um, is drying so you don't want to use it through there so this second layer here I'm just going to start by dragging it in and in and then just wipe off any build up that you get and keep going in and in and in and you just lightly touch the surface you don't have to dig in the pin the whole way you just kind of drag it across the very surface now once I've done that I'm going to drag it in the opposite direction to kind of form points or sharp parts. So I drag it out and out and out and out and out and out and out. So you might get some gunky bits so you just get the end of a toothpick and you kind of dig it in and that will get rid of any of the gunky bits. And the last part is to just pick the position that you want your thumb to go in, find a pattern, 
that looks good. So around here looks good. Position your nail over. Slowly dunk it in. Shake it around to get rid of any air bubbles. Now getting one of the cotton tips, just blow on the surface to dry the nail polish. And then using the cotton tip, just swirl it around in the water to get all of that excess polish out. And just lift the nail out of the water. So now you can remove the tape. Apply a top coat. I'm using Seishvit top coat. So even though the nail polish is still a little wet, it's okay because this will dry it. Now you may find that you do get little bits around the nail, just a little bit across the bottom where the tape doesn't reach. But just clean that up with one of the cotton tips and some nail polish remover and you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail art tutorial and I'll see you all again soon.